So it may be a circumstance of just wanting different pressures for different environments. I mean, when I'm coming across grass like this and I'm really banging off-road, I think I want a little bit more pressure. But when I'm on the street, I like that extra sag a lot. Woohoo! Suspension pressure test, baby. Here we go. All right, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I release videos every Monday and Friday on awesome unicycle content. So if that's not worth a subscribe, I don't know what is. I don't know, I don't know. Hey guys, how's it going today? Today I wanted to play with the different suspension pressures on the InMotion V11. Let's just go over how this pump works real quick. So first thing you need to know about this little shock pump that comes with the machine, it really does not move much air. This is designed for putting a little bit of air in a small tube. So don't try to use this on your tire. This will not inflate, or it will inflate your tire. It'll take you two hours of pumping to inflate your tire with this. Don't do it. And this is made to get up to really high pressure. It's got this little release valve. So when you press this button right here on the side, it just releases air. And here on the end of the pump is this little lever, which actually moves a little thing inside there up and down. So by using this pump, you can actually lose almost no pressure at all when pumping up your system. So let me show you real quick how to do it. All right, so the first thing we do is screw in our pump. As you can see, it's not showing any pressure at all yet because I haven't flipped this little lever. Once I flip this lever, it'll actually engage with the valve and show me how much pressure I have. And this little button right here will actually leak the air right out. So you can see I have no pressure left now. Pump it to whatever setting you want. All right, right there is good. So now I'm showing 90 on my dial. What I wanna do is come to this and flick that little lever. And you can see when I click the lever back on, it actually goes back up to 90. So we know there's 90 in that pressure system right now. So we're gonna go ahead, flick the switch back down, and then you wanna bleed the hose. You wanna get rid of any pressure that was in your hose. Okay, you just press that button, it gets rid of it. Now, when we go and unscrew this, you shouldn't lose any pressure at all. And you could hear there was no loss whatsoever. So I know there's still 90 in the system. So that's how you use the shock pump. Now let's try a couple different uh, pressure settings. So I haven't actually fooled around with them too, too much. Uh, the first day I got it, I kind of played with it until I found something I really liked. And I've just left it there for about 300 kilometers now. You know, what I found was really comfortable out of the box for me. I'm a, about 185 pounds, 200 pounds all geared up. I like to have 70 pounds in the top and 140 pounds in the bottom. Now I haven't actually checked to see how much is leaked. So let's do that right now. I've, like I said, I've done about 250, 300 kilometers on that pressure setting. So let's see how it's held up. It's felt about the same to me. I haven't really noticed any leakage or anything. And I've definitely been hitting jumps and playing with it. So let's find out right now. Let's see how much, how much I've lost. All right, so it says I still have 130 PSI, but the hose filled up. So I'd say it's right about 140 PSI still. I don't think I lost any air pressure at all over all that time. That's awesome. I'm kind of surprised. I really thought there would be more leakage than that. Especially, I mean, I did 300 kilometers or so. And this is after getting the fly pad. So I've been jumping with it. I've been hitting curbs. I've been going up over stuff. I'm surprised I didn't lose any air at all. All right, well, I know what the pressure's like at 140. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop it all the way down to 100. And see how that feels. And I haven't had too much friction build up in the machine yet, I don't think. A lot of guys are talking about friction building up on the sliders and having to lower their settings a little bit the more and more they ride. I haven't gotten to that point yet. So but let's try this bad boy with 100. All right, so there's definitely more sag in the system. Definitely feels more responsive over the smaller bumps at this lower pressure. Take a drop, let's see what the drop feels like. Okay, I like it, I like it. That's not bad. I do think the rebound's a little too high. I think actually the top pressure might be a little too high. But 100 in the bottom's not terrible. 
I don't feel like I'm bottoming it out at all. I'm trying to put all my weight down on it. I'm not bottoming out. That's good. You know, 100 pounds of pressure will hold a 200 pound rider. Let's hit this, uh, I'm going to hit this drop one more time real hard and see if I can bottom it out. Nope, didn't bottom out. That's good. I wasn't sure I was going to like it that soft, but I actually do. So it looks like same story for the top valve. I don't think I lost any pressure at all in the top valve. So I had it at 70. I'm going to try it way down. I'm going to drop it all the way to 30 and see how that feels. All right, here we go. I got 100 and... 100 in the bottom, 30 in the top. I do think I like where the rebound's at now, but I think there's too little pressure in the bottom. There's a little chattering coming across the, uh, the field there. Well, I gotta say, with the lower pressure in the bottom, the ride height drops a little bit more. It felt really good on the road. So it may be a circumstance of just wanting different pressures for different environments. I mean, when I'm coming across grass like this and I'm really banging off-road, I think I want a little bit more pressure. But when I'm on the street, I like that extra sag a lot. So I do like the lower pressure, it is kind of nice. I'm going to try something in between the two. I'm going to leave the 30 in the top. I do like the, the, the rebound being a little bit lower. And I'm going to try 120 in the bottom. All right, here we go. Let's try it. 30 in the top, 120 in the bottom. I'm going to say, I, this setting I like the least. I think I like it higher or lower on, the, on this. Still not getting rid of enough of the chatter coming across this uh, field at this pressure. Yeah, I really feel like I'm bouncing too much. And the drop's okay, it's whatever. Yeah, I like this pressure the least. I liked it better when it was higher and lower. All right, here we go. This time we're gonna try it with 180 pounds of pressure on the bottom. The way jacked up. So I definitely feel too tall. I'm not getting much sag at all. I do kind of like it a little bit better coming across that field though. But high pressure, definitely better than middle pressure, surprisingly. All right, now let's try a super low pressure. I'm gonna try just 50 pounds. Okay, here we go. Super low pressure test, 30 top, 50 bottom. Don't hate it coming across the field. It's actually kind of nice. Let's see how it feels on this little drop here. I don't hate it on the drop. It didn't quite bottom out. I can't get it to bottom out, so that's good. Well, I'm surprised 50 pounds. It's holding actually pretty well. So I do actually like less pressure. I think le I think I had too much pressure in it. I think like 90 pounds might be awesome for me. Let's try that. All right, so here we go. I got 30 in the top, 90 in the bottom. I think this would be a good uh, middle ground. I definitely got a nice little bit of sag going. Yeah, but it feels real responsive coming across here. That feels great. That's the best it's felt. Yeah, actually, I'm ripping across this field really nice. Yeah, got rid of a lot of that chattering. Yeah, I really like it. Hey, what's going on? You hit 200. I'm at 250 now. I grew a ton. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. <laughs> you YouTube guy. Yeah, I think 90 is my magic number. If you're going to be on road a ton, you want that extra sag. You know, just lower your center of gravity a little bit. But off road, you want just a little bit more response from the system. 
Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to keep it at 90 30. Obviously, it's not exactly a scientific method, but it was good to feel a couple of different suspension pressures there. And I definitely noticed huge differences between them. These pressures are going to be different for everybody. You know, just the way the ride feels, people are going to want different things. There's a little personal preference just in that. But you also have to account the fact that no two machines are going to be exactly the same. There's going to be more friction in some systems than others. So you're really just going to have to fool around with your own machine, see what you like. For me, on my machine, I'm liking 30 on the top, 90 on the bottom. I'm, I'm digging it. All right, guys, I'm going to be doing videos every Monday and Friday going forward on awesome unicycle content. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you've ever ridden a suspension EUC, hit the like button. Let me know what suspension pressures you guys are running in the comments below. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, ride safe out there.